Mvula, who hails from Valves Bay, says he was always passionate about art. At the time he became involved in the visual effects industry, he says he lacked the right skills and portfolio for the roles he wanted to fill. Mvula says he was stuck in one position for years until he applied to Disney Studios to work for them as an intern for a year. His duties included making coffee, cleaning and running errands for the directors and producers. He used the opportunity to network and connect with others in the industry until they noticed him. Any downtime I had or... Uh, um uh, I, yeah, any downtime I had, I would ask any artist that would talk to me uh, um, if they had any spare shots or whatever else that I could work on. And, uh, you know, if they liked my work, they could keep it. If they didn't, uh, there was no issue to them. And, um, yeah, after about a year back and forth of doing that, uh, you know, they eventually realized that you're more useful on the computer than you are in the kitchen. All this to say that, I guess, all great success requires some kind of sacrifice so uh, essentially you just have to figure out which sacrifice will be worth it for you explaining his work on the film and kando as an animation artist he says the process was fun but also challenging the film received global attention because of its relatability yeah and kanto because of how complex the main characters' costumes were. Um, it took a lot of resources from our department to really um, help those costumes um, match the incredible performances that were coming from the characters in animation. Um, yeah, they were incredibly fun to work on, uh, but just as challenging as well. Uh, but I really think all of that effort and commitment uh, really translated into the film itself. Upcoming high-profile projects he's working on include Strange World and Zootopia Plus. Both films are to be showcased on the Disney Plus streaming platforms. Selima Henok, NBC News, Ventuk.